Right, this video is about why do we use these chords? Why do we use sus fours, sus twos, minor and major sevens and six? Well, they sound better, okay? I'll play a song called Happy. A happy is C sharp major seven, C minor seven, and then you stay on the minor seven, and then you go to F dominant seven. That's the chorus. Now I'm going to play that with normal chords now. So we're going to do a C sharp, a C minor, and an F. It will work with the melody. But it doesn't sound as good, does it? Because the major seventh is a lovely three dimensional. It's got lovely ringing tones. And this is, sounds much better. It sounds more interesting. It's deeper. It's a fourth dimension, fifth dimension chord. I don't think that is such a thing. Um, the rest of that song is all on sevenths as well. They're all seventh chords, okay? Now, all right, let's break them down. A major seventh sounds lovely, all right? It makes a normal chord sound lovely and fluffy. A minor seventh makes a minor chord, which is normal. I'll, I'll, actually, I'll demonstrate this with E minor. There's E minor. That's a very dark chord, all right? It's not as dark as a diminished, but it's a dark chord. Put a seventh on it, you've got this. That's a spacey chord, all right? So it's a little bit more moderate. It's a little bit more, uh, what's the word, central. You could go somewhere different with it. You don't need to write a depressing song with starting off on a minor seventh. And they're very much used with jazz. Major and minor sevenths together. Major seventh next door. Minor seventh. Major and minor seventh. Lovely. Okay. A dominant seventh, as in the case of happy. Action chord. It's a an edgy sort of sound. Okay. Uh, the sus fours. They are very much. Very much Rolling Stones, you know, the faces type of thing, rock and rolly. Okay, uh, and again, I said about Pinball Wizard earlier on in a previous video. Very much in your face. They are, you know, big, big, big major -y things. They sound different when you go from a sus four to a minor. That's quite dramatic, but it's not actually as dramatic as the major. That's a sixth. Okay, actually I didn't mention the sixth and that much in the previous video. The sixth chord, well they're great. Okay, um, they they are usually used with the seventh, as I've probably said before. But you know, it's one of those things. It's like, it's up to you how you want to do them. Going back to the susses, a sus two. It, there's a film called Ben Hur, and the music on that was all pentatonic. Sus twos and it's lovely. It's just if you want to hear good use, classical use of sus twos and pentatonic scales, and it's better. All right, very uh, classic from the nineteen fifties. Also, the grunge people love that. Okay, so that's pretty much the comprehensive usage of them. They make normal chords sound interesting, more interesting. They can make minor chords sound more neutral, but spacey, okay? So the, if, you, if you use it, especially for your GCSE compositions, your mark rate goes zoop, like an exponential chord curve because you're basically thinking about it. You know, you're displaying the fact that you're thinking and you're, and you're um, you know, you're taking chances with your, with your chords. To, to, to make it, uh, your compositions better, okay? Anyway, 